That piece right there is nice and warm, so it, it can peel. Um, I'm able to now look up into the fuel area. We do have a little bit of issue with soaking in there, but it doesn't appear to be too bad. But we'll cross that path when we get to doing the rest of the flame. Um, get my heat back up on here. The heat makes it really nice when you get into edges and stuff like this. Um, it just saves you a lot of sanding, a lot of, a lot of frustration. As you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see that, but probably so, but it's, it's just about coming off there. It just about falls off sometimes. But now we're up here, and we can just kind of hold and pull. Yep, that gun gets hot. This thing's over 400 and some degrees. But just kind of let the covering come up naturally. And as you can see, it takes a little time, but if I get another half to hold it here, it might be easier. But just work it. I think she's mad because she's not doing a demo, but I am. <laughs> but you know, now you get it off in big chunks like that. Now, as you notice, I'm still having my heat down here. Don't worry about neatness. Neatness doesn't count in this part of the job. Well, let's get things out of here. I'm going to lift that little piece right here. Boy, he really got that glued down good. Just underneath the covering here. So just try to follow which way they have it covered. It's going to come off a lot easier that way. Um, as you can see, let me get myself turned around here on this plane, you'll see. Um, as I started pulling this side down, now look, we're already a long, long ways down this fuselage. Um, I mean, we're still away from being done, but we're still... But, as I started peeling, I, I noticed that this covering was overlapped over the bottom. So if I work at it, I can pull that whole edge off and just probably peel most of this in one piece. Um, let's see what we can do here. Let me just go and put some more heat to her. Don't pull it too soon. Just, just give it a little tension to pull back like that. Yeah, just let it come up. Don't get, to, don't get too close to your hands because, yeah, it's hot. Um, there, that freed right up. Now you can see where we scored that, it's coming right off. Now what I want to do, is since this is going around the stabilizer, I just want to take that off. That way I can get one side and the other. It's a little bit of a dance, but it's not too bad to do. You just heat it, pull it, that epoxy's coming right off with it. And if you, as you can see, if you just gently heat, gently pull. Don't go real harsh with it. It'll come right off. Um, playing this size, you're looking, you know, if it's not too bad, it can, you can have this done 20, 30 minutes. Uh, some planes are a lot worse. We've had planes where it's taken us a day or two just to get it off of there. And, now it's, it's ripping up across this turtle deck area here, but that's okay. It's, there's a seam right there. So now we're able to take this and just pull it. And I just learned something about this covering. I'm not sure if they still make it up, but it's very sticky on the inside. And Ultra Coat only made one covering that done that, and that's called Ultra Coat Plus. Um, it, was, it had a tackiness to it that when you put the covering on it, it would stay in place and you iron it. I did not care for that covering at all. Um, I like Ultra Coat. It, it's great to use on some things, but it, boy, was it a pain in the butt with that Ultra Coat Plus sometimes. Let me get this little piece up here. Just get some heat on it. Now, if you know, I doubt if you notice, but let me see if I can turn this. When I peel that piece right there, this all loosened up by itself down here. Now you notice I'm just getting the heat down. I'm not putting a whole lot of heat, but I am putting heat on it. 
You know, sometimes you just got to heat a piece like this, watch for it to bubble and wrinkle, and then reach down there and just take it off. And But you're going to use that same process throughout your whole model. Um, once we get the planes, you know, the fuselage stripped and everything, I'll come back and show you a way to get off, like right here is where that mylar come off, but this is all the glue. We will show you an easy way that we discovered on YouTube. Uh, I'll look it back up and give the guy kudos on the next video. Because um, that's a, you know, that's a trick I never knew about. Boy, I'll tell you what, it's just, it's, 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 it's just a way to go when you're stripping covering down. And I, I, ever since I discovered that, that's the only way I do it. But you, like again, just nice, gentle. Get that heat on there. And just kind of peel it off. You might run into trouble areas like right around here where the uh, canopy was. So we'll just take and peel. Sometimes you just gotta work it. Sometimes it'll come right off. So. Biggest thing is just be patient with it. Don't take your tools and really dig down into your wood and cause yourself damage to where you're going to have to repair and fill and everything like that. So, so you can see where the covering's good and where the covering's bad. The yellow staying behind in some spots and coming off of this is just one project I've been wanting to do in the almost two well I think I've had this plane two years now. Now some also sometimes you get like around these areas, if you just put some heat to it, it'll come off fairly easy. Now no covering comes off perfect. There will be the matter of uh, having to sand no matter what. But the idea about pulling covering off this way is not having to sand the plane as much as you can. You know, because you don't want to reform the wood. Um, there will be spots like up here. This is all going to be wiped off. That's all that Ultra Coat Plus is stuck. As you can see, that just sticks right to your hand. There's no yellow in there, but the stickiness is still there. There is a way to remove that, and I'll show you that in another video. But you can see the covering still warm back here, and it's peeling. But you, you know you don't want to just peel it off at that point. Um, you just want to take your time and get it all dismounted, and then once you have that done, then you're set. Um, yeah, you can see that stuff just—it's almost like putting tape on a plane. And like, I, like I said, I have nothing against ultra coat covering, but this stuff here was just—I don't know why they even come out with it. And like I said, I don't I don't even know if it's uh, even around anymore. But let me go ahead and finish this piece down. And you're going to do the same process to the wing. Cut the hinges. Now as you can see, that seam is coming off. You're just going to keep working that seam up off of there. Work it back here in the back where the glue is. Up here you made the score. Give me a knife, please. Now I'm not sure how much time we've taken to do this, but you can see it's not taking long at all um, to get this covering off this plane. Yeah, it's gonna you guys are gonna have little spots you'll have to deal with, but. Being Ultra Coat Plus, a lot of times you can just peel it right back up. But with the brittleness of this covering stuff, we don't want to risk that and leave the backing, the, the back rear part of that covering on there, like we did up there in the cockpit area. But uh, I'm gonna just loosen this up and get this off of here. Now I'm going to show you those little score marks. wasn't done on this side, but I did on this side. But if you can 
I can't really, I'll get the camera here in a moment. And you can see where that come off just beautiful. Um, there's no covering tuck in the corner. Now sometimes there is, depending on how bad the glue job is. Um, around the back end of this right here, oh my god, the glue is just tremendous. They're just big, big wads of glue. Certainly does something I don't like. This right here, can you see that? Mm, kinda. Tell me when I got it good in the frame there. Right there. There's a little piece of covering that's about three eighths long and an eighth inch wide, and that big knot in my hand is glue. One big ball of glue. Um, making sure something sticks is one thing. But oh my god, some people are just glue hounds. But let me go ahead and peel them. Let's get this turtle back off of here. Now this was made, it's rolled actually up under the other side so they can see it. But it'll come off. Just warm it up. That works better on the heat setting. There we go. Now you can see it rolling right off. What I'm doing is I'm aiming my gun right down that side. You can even do it from the back side. It ain't going to matter. It'll come off of there. And there you go. And that little bit of work is... All that covering is off that airplane. Um, getting the rest of this off is really no big deal. We're going to find our zip knife here. We're going to heave a little bit up in the front here and just kind of lift. Now you see that just popped right off. Now what we're going to do is heat up around this edge and just keep pulling that covering, being careful not to get our fingers in the way. And that quick, that's already heated. Um, And you can see that all came off in one nice little piece. Just like that. Now we can get up here and even look. He's got a piece of foam glued up in there. <laughs> Sorry about that, a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Um, memory card got full because some dummy keeps forgetting to switch camera back when I do these videos. And I guess you can remember my name right but anyway you got to repeat that process we're talking about I'm peeling this covering you're going to do that throughout the whole airframe uh, when you go to strip your in this case like your elevators you're going to do the same thing I'm just going to show you a quick example um, it will come off around that glue you just want to get it heated start pulling that covering off of there these like to move around because there's no weight to them. It's just... well, we're going to go ahead and just get that piece peeled there. Sometimes it comes off good, sometimes it doesn't, like I mentioned before. Um, we're going to put some pressure back here. There it's coming off. If I can get somebody to hold that from blowing away, it'd be all right. I'll get it. Well, let me do this. Let me show them if they don't have an assistant. My lovely assistant here keeps me in line. Hello, guys. And that's a big job. Now, let me grab my little rubber pad here. Um, this this will help keep it from moving a little bit. Not much, but it's a help. Um, my finger's going here. But anyway. When you strip your elevators and stuff, now we know this purple was on the bottom. Once you get all that covering off of there, just, just take your time, work it off around your hinges. Uh, and, uh, well, this side, I'm sorry, this side here was purple all the way around. Um, I'm going to do a big no no here. I'm just going to peel that. Um, but once you get all your covering peeled off of one side, 
um, you want to remember what side of the airplane that was on. Now this one was the, uh, oh gosh, can't think. Let me see which one it was. Yeah, this was the left side of the airplane here. So what you want to do is you want to mark your wood. Um, since it's a nice stick build, we're just going to go inside of here somewhere and put a nice L there. So now you know that's the left elevator. And you're just going to do the same thing throughout. Um, you're going to do the same thing to your wing. Um, you're going to cut your hinges off and then you're just going to work that covering off of your heat gun and uh, before you know it, you got a bare airframe. And then in the next video, we'll cover on how to get this stuff off without having to do a lot of sanding. Because um, a lot of sanding will gum up your paper, it gets frustrating, it gets old, it gets tiring. Um, we're going to do a little repair work here, which is no big deal. The uh, The removal process for the sticky back is a pretty neat trick that I've learned. Um, like I said, I think it's in my Cessna 310 video. And when we peel that, it's uh, a tape pro a process of using tape to remove the covering. But, but anyway, um, take your time, go throughout your whole airframe, and when we get her stripped down, we'll be ready for the next step. This is TNT. Have a good one.